Hey there guys, I wanted to get this video up before Halloween is completely over. This is what we did for our Halloween dinner as the main course. So you want to start out with some flour. I used whole wheat flour and you want to add some baking powder to that. Just mix it in a little bit. And then you want to add some milk and some butter in small chunks. And I will have the exact measurements down below as always. And then you can go ahead and knead your dough together. This will take a while, but you know, it's worth it. The next step, you want to go ahead and separate the dough. You want to take about a quarter of the dough away and keep that for later. And then you want to separate it so you can make these small little pies. And I use just cupcake tins for that. You want to use something that is silicone because otherwise it won't be easy to get it out again. I used these other ramekins and it was very hard to get the dough out in the end. So silicon um, is fine. So next we want to prepare the meat. Um, you want to start out by cutting down an onion and then also some carrots. And then in a pan you want to heat up some oil with the onions just for a minute or two. You also want to cut down some potatoes. Then you want to get your meat into the pan as well. And just cook it until it is you know, completely done. And then you can go ahead and add the vegetables. And then you want to just mix that a little bit and then let that sit for around 10 minutes on medium heat. Oh, and I also added a little bit of um, vegetable stock, which I didn't show. After the 10 minutes, you want to add some tomato paste and then some cream cheese. And mix that in a little bit. <coughs> Now you want to roll out the rest of the dough that you kept, about a quarter of the dough. And I used a cookie cutter to do these little skulls. And then you want to go ahead and fill up your little forms with that. And then you want to put the skulls on top and just press them down a little bit. So they're kind of like the top layer. And then you're ready to bake. I think we did these with 180 degrees Celsius for around 30 minutes. And they were very delicious and I hope you try those. It was very fun. We had a great dinner party. And yeah, happy Halloween.